Okay, so the last thing we want to install is a text editor that we can write scripts in. And so my Sublime text is my personal favorite. And so there's a link on Canvas where you can download that. We can go and download Windows. So we hit Next to install Sublime text. We can just install it in the default location. Okay, so now we're set up. We can run Sublime Text as our editor where we can write scripts. Somewhere in here I have the SIGWIN file, and so we can use this to run our Python scripts that we write. And so we basically want to do a quick example to make sure things are, are working as we expect. First, I want to show you a little bit about how to navigate in the Unix directory system. And so the first command you'll need to know is pwd, which is print working directory. And you, so you can see right now, it tells us we are in my home directory, okay? And so the next command you need to know is cd, which is change directory. And so you can use cd dot dot to go back one directory. And so if we do pwd, you can see we're now just in the home directory. We've gone back from my dp29585 directory just into the home directory. And from anywhere, you can just type cd tilde, and it will take you back to the home directory. And so now we see we're back in the home directory. The other command you can use is the list command, or ls. And so it lists all the files in the directory. And so we see that we have nothing in the home directory. But if I go back one, I hit list, I can see there's that dp29585. SIGWIN also has the regular file system. So if we want to find like all the files on your hard drive, we can find it by going to cd slash sig drive. All right, and we do ls, and we can see it has c, so we go c and ls. And so we can see this is where you have your Windows file where you have your users and so that's how we can find um, your home directory here okay and so we can also use the file explorer to find your home directory in sigwin so if we go to the c drive we remember we installed sigwin in sigwin so we could go into home and that dp29585 um, and that is actually our home directory okay and so the other thing about list that you can use is there are some options for it. And so you can ls minus l, which is long listing. And so it gives us a long listing of all the files in that directory. Okay, and it tells us things like who made it, what the group, the size, the date, all these things. The D's in front mean the directories. These are all permissions over here. And so some of these files are read, write, and execute by the user, but only read and execute by other people. And so there's uh, a bunch of information by using the long list. Okay, so let's just go back to our home directory because that's where we're going to make a Python script.